Clancy, earlier we were talking about gel code and its importance, and we found another example that I know you want to talk about. Right. Well, it's interesting, Julie. We're here again in the competitor's pool just because it is here at the Atlantic City Show. And right down here, they actually have a cutaway of a sample of their pool. This is an actual cutaway of a pool. And I looked at it, and one of the things I want to point out that's very, very important here is the gel coat. Okay? Gel coat is the interior surface. It should be somewhere around 32 mils thick, which is about the thickness of two business cards. This it, is more than that. It's a lot more than that. If you look, this is probably maybe three eighths to one half of an inch total thickness. The gel coat itself, if you were to get down close to that, is probably almost one quarter of this whole pool thickness. Now, the reason I point that out is gel coat has no structural value. There's no structural value in gel coat. And having thicker gel coat is not better, okay? 32 mils of gel coat, thereabouts, is about what you're looking for. When you have a thick gel coat, what is gonna happen here almost certainly is spider cracking is gonna develop because the gel coat has no structural value and no ability to move and flex. Well, isn't it awesome that Leisure Pools offers a lifetime warranty on their finish? Absolutely, it is. And, you know, that is a really, really important part of it. Awesome. Thanks, Clancy. You're welcome. Bye-bye.